Hi guys, um, so in today's video, I thought I would show you my melting basket. Now obviously we are in the middle of February already, so I can't really call this my February melting basket. I'm not sure, maybe I will change it out in March and then just start doing a monthly one from there, but um, anyways, for right now, it's it's the middle of February. I, I I wasn't on top of it the beginning of February, so I have it here now though. It is quite full and um, I'm not totally sure how other people do their melting baskets, but um, basically I like to just put in a bunch of different scents and stuff that um, I think will, like I'll enjoy melting throughout the next couple few weeks, um, however long it ends up being. Um, and I don't plan on like finishing any of this. I don't even know that I'll get around warming all of this, but basically I like to just give myself a more limited selection. Um, that way I'm not scrambling every day, like between all my categories and digging through things and whatnot. So I dig through things. I put anything I feel I'm excited about wanting to try or wanting to melt. Um, and then I just choose from this basket, so. I'm pretty sure that's how most people do it. If you've watched other people's melting baskets, you probably know what I'm talking about. But let me see if I can even hold this up. Because it is, it's just a small basket. Well, like, the actual basket itself is, is not large, so it's obviously overflowing quite a bit. Um, the hard part about choosing things for this, too, is that, um, as I've mentioned in my other videos, the weather has just been so abnormal and actually the day i'm filming this it snowed so if you watch my last video i was talking about how the temperatures were warmer and um yeah like they'd gotten up to i think it was like 14 degrees one day um we're back to the negatives expecting some snow this week so i have like quite a mix in here of like still some wintry stuff but also um bringing in some more like non-wintry stuff like um some more just like fruity, uh, a couple of fruity scents, um, some more um, like bakery stuff. Yeah, I got, I have a bunch. Um, so how do I wanna do this? I will organize it by vendor and then I will get started talking about everything. that part um anyways so i'll start with scentsy because i am trying to warm through a lot of my scentsy um mostly in here i have stuff that i put in my like uh winter kind of um category with a few other ones um so yeah i'll start with that so the first one in here i want to this has already started but i want to finish off this bar of fresh ice which is cold air icy mint and sandalwood this is not my first bar I've had. Um, I really like this one. I know it, it performs well in my open area here. So this is a nice icy one I like. Um, and then I have Silver Bells, which is mint candy canes, winter pear, caramel, and vanilla sugar. I have not melted this before, but I've heard lots of people talk about it and say good things about it. And yeah, it smells really nice to me. I don't get... Um, Yeah, I get the pear. I was gonna say, I don't get like strong pear like sometimes in other scents, but that just smells like a really nice blend. Um, and then going along with some wintry scents, this is Sensi's Frosted Vanilla, which is sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. This one also smells, 
I smell the bark. It smells really nice. Anyways, um, I'm not trying to sniff through everything in super detail. This is a newer one. Um, this was maybe December's scent of the month, maybe November, but it's um, meant to be merry, and I believe this is like a minced cookie. It smells good though. I'm excited about that one. Um, this is one I just kind of want to finish. This is butter, butter pecan or butter pecan. I don't know, however you like to say it. This one is Polar Bear Hug. I've been meaning to melt this for a while. This is blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. I keep putting, melting this one off because I'm unsure how I feel about it, but I do want to at least try it because I've never tried it before. Um, then I have Sweet Plum Pastry, which I picked up earlier this year in one of those bundles, which is Black Plum, Toasted Coconut, and Marshmallow Cloud. I mean, the plum makes it a little bit more of a wintry scent to me, but otherwise it just smells like a really nice bakery scent. I have winterberry apple tea because I have not actually warmed this yet this season and this is one of my favorites. So it's winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. Um, and then I have a bar of pink sugarberry mint and this is from earlier last year, I think May. Um, I've never melted this scent before. It smells pretty light to me in here. So I haven't quite decided whether I'll try this in my open concept or maybe in my bedroom, but um, yeah, I know uh, I've heard people say good things about that, so I wanted to try it. And then these last three I have all tried before. Um, this is one I figured I'd just try and use up. This is the um, Peter Pan Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. Um, this smells fruity. I don't know which fruits, but it smells fruity. Um, then I have this one, which is another fruity one, and this is Juicy Apple Raspberry. Um, I also have melted this before, and it was a really good performer, and I was surprised by how much I actually really liked that. So I figured maybe I'll finish that one if I can. And then this is one um, from almost a year ago now, and this is Flirtatious, which I believe is whoa, a floral scent, but it's a floral I like. So... I figured maybe I'd, I don't know, it might be too early for florals, but I'll try it. I only have half of it left. Um, and then I just have one thing in here from um, That Smell Good Shop, which is Temperance, which is sugar cookie, vanilla bean, cupcake, waffle cone, and blue spruce. And this is just a really nice wintry, wintry bakery scent. You get very little of the, the blue spruce. Like, it's, it's there, but it's not... Um, by any means like overpowering so I've melted that before clearly and I liked that one so I figured I'd melt more of that um then I have two ooh, two from Knowles Farm Scents which I um have actually yet to warm anything from Knowles Farm Scents because I had I had a few fall scents that I was really excited about and then obviously I wasn't here in the fall and so I guess I'll be saving those for next year. But this one, um, this is Berry Fiends. Uh, yeah. And this is Blackberry, Strawberry, Raspberry, Heavy Cream, and Woods. And this smells like so good. It's like the perfect mesh of berries. And then I do smell like that heavy cream. And I don't know about the woods, but maybe that'll come out on warm. But I've heard nothing but excellent things about... Travis's wax so I'm sure it'll perform great and then so I also have this one that I chopped up it was a mini loaf and this is sinfully delightful which is strawberry pound cake palo santo warm vanilla sugar and waffle cone this is a scent I actually won in um a giveaway on YouTube which was really exciting so it smells really good in here so I'm really looking forward to that one too um, and then from Melting Memories, some of these I'm just continuing to warm, like Lavender Dreams. I always have to have in my melting basket because that's one of my favorites for my bedroom. Pink Snowflakes, I also discovered I really like and melted that in my bedroom, so I'm going to keep doing that. And then um, I have... I have her um, Birch and Buttercream, which smells very similar to me. Um, to whose is it teddy bees i believe and they're just small again 
because that's one for sure I have to compare it to. It smells beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. And then I have um, Pink Marshmallow, which I just picked up in my most recent haul. Um, looking forward to warming that one. And then Cotton Candy Cookie, which I am really excited to warm. Um, but this is the only clam I have of it, so I'm really hoping um, this is either still in her shop or will be back in her shop. Um, and then also from her Coffee and Roses collection, um, I might melt... I don't know why I didn't put all three in here, um, because they would all honestly work, but, um, Date Night I think was my favorite one, so I definitely wanted to put this in my melting basket, and this is Pink Pepper Plum Black Rose Vanilla and Patchouli, and if you saw my haul, you heard my thoughts on that as well, and I like it. Um, then I have just one from Teddy V's, and that is, um, Christmas Trees and Cream, and yeah, so this smells, actually it does smell a little different. Um, this is fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and rich buttercream. Maybe it's the waffle cone. Anyways, it smells lovely. Um, and I know this is one of her most popular scents probably. So um, figured I would give that a go. Um, and then, um, where was I going? Oh, I have a few from Southbound. I melted my first um, wax from Southbound, blue, um, which I talked about in my empties video that I just posted. Um, so I picked out a few um, frozen custard. Oh my gosh, there's hair on it. Uh, which is creamy vanilla custard with hints of fresh mint, and that's exactly what it smells like. And I think I'll really enjoy that. I also picked a sugar cookie latte because I love any coffee scent. Definitely need to have some of those in my basket. So this is freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. I can smell this one through the bag. It smells great. And then I thought I would try this one, which is strawberry pound cake lavender frosting. And it's creamy pound cake topped with strawberries and fresh cream, lavender, vanilla, and buttercream frosting. And it smells excellent. So I'm excited about that. Um, then from Sassy Girl Aroma, um, I have this um, little chunk left from, um, what was I going to say? From that, I've talked about it, that sampler, uh, thing she did uh, with her top scents. Um, and so this is Christmas at Santa's, if I didn't say that already. And this is Pepperberry Wreath Sugar Cookie and Marshmallow Fireside. I kind of just want to finish this off rather than like saving it for next year. Um, it is like a Christmassy scent, but it's absolutely beautiful. I, I think I'd be fine still melting this, especially with the weather being so cold outside. Um, then from that same um, sampler, I have Return to Oz, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam, butter cookies, zucchini bread, and this is just a, mm, this is like, it's, it's so good because you get the blackberry, like, with the fruity note, but then you also get, like, the pumpkin pecan waffles and the salted caramel, so it gives it a very different but, like, delicious scent. Um, and then this one is Snipers in the Night, and that one is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Pretzel, Vanilla Sugar, Waffle Cone, and Beach Night. And this smells really good, too. I smell the pretzel for sure. Mm, that's good. Um, and then some brittles I threw in here was Christmas Bake Shop, which is golden caramel, lemon, brown sugar, vanilla musk, sandalwood, patchouli woods, and amber. And this one smells really good. I, it doesn't smell like a, like a bakery scent, like I um, had assumed when I originally bought it, just based off the name, Christmas Bake Shop, but it does smell really nice. I, it's more of that vanilla musk, sandalwood, patchouli, and amber to me, but nonetheless, I really like the smell of it. Um, I figured I'd maybe warm this one on, like, Valentine's Day, which is actually tomorrow when I'm filming this. Um, but it's strawberry cupcakes, and I've heard great things about this one as well. It is strawberry vanilla cupcake with buttercream frosting, and it smells delicious. 
And then I have this one that I've warmed before and really enjoyed, and this is Big Dipper. And this is Jelly Donut, Sugar Cookie, Blueberry, and Beach Nights. I say this all the time. I love Julie's Blueberry and her Beach Nights. So this is a really good one. And then um, I have quite a bit of Rose Girls. Oh, wait, but before I go into that, I have, looks like just one here from Lavender and Speckles. Oh, because you know what? The other one I, I'm actually warming today it was, um, it's right here. Pistachio birthday bread. This is what I have going today. It's delicious. Love it. Um, and I also pulled out strawberry musk, which is strawberry pound cake blended with icy vanilla woods. And she even wrote on here, uh, amazing. And I would agree. Well, I mean, I haven't warmed it, but smelling it on cold, it smells amazing. Um, so then going into Rose Girls, I'll start with the mini melters I have. So I have um, Snow Day, and this is molasses cookies, brown sugar, ginger, warm spices, and vanilla icing. And yeah, this really, you get the, the molasses cookies in this and the ginger. This might, I don't know, we'll see if I, if I end up warming this one. It might be a little bit too heavy, like wintry for me, but, um, and then there's this one. I didn't even know I put in there, but <laughs> this is, um, slurp. This is an older one. Um, this is cereal killer rice, crispy treats and sugar milk. And I'm not like usually like cereal scents. I don't typically go for, um, but I do have now a few bags, um, of some different like varieties of this, like, like I think I have slurp and strawberry. And then I have another one that might just be serial killer on its own. Anyways, um, I don't have like the whole bag of this, so I figured I'd try and melt what I could. Um, and then I have Banana Birthday Cookie Land. Sorry about that, I got a call that I had to answer. Kind of <laughs> killed my mood. Um, where was I? Okay, I think I was talking about Banana Birthday Cookie Land. It's not focusing, there we go. Um, this is banana birthday cake, toffee covered pretzels, cookies, and confetti cake. I've melted this before. It's really strong. I like it. Um, I like Rose Girls banana. I know some people don't, um, cause it's banana it tends to smell more artificial. Um, on the banana note, I also have, um, peanut butter, banana sugar cookies, I almost melted this one today, but maybe I'll save that for tomorrow. And then both of these I've melted, actually three of these I've melted before. Um, this one I could probably finish soon. This is Koopa Claus is Coming to Town, um, which is just a really nice bakery scent. It's Royal Sugar Cookies, Gilligan's Brew, and Baked Zucchini Bread. Seems basic, but it, trust me, is really good. Um, then I have Koopa's Christmas Carols, which is soft pine, um, soft pine, sugar cookies, snow powder, mint, and campfire marshmallow. I also really liked that one. And then I also really liked this one, so I'm gonna melt it again. This is Blizzard on the Star Express, which is candy cane, eggnog, ice cream, marshmallow, caramel cheesecake, and frosted sugar cookies. And then finally, I have um, from Rose Girls, like a couple um, sampler almost sized things um, that I thought I would just, you know, see if I could get to. So I have um, two little snowflake shapes in Cookie Land, which is confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. Um, then I have um, jumping on key lime clouds. I got the um, cloud sampler she had so I have a bunch of these little cloud shapes they're really thick so I'm not sure how um I'm gonna chop them yet but this is key lime pie cotton candy frosting cup of cake monster cookie marshmallow smoothie and vanilla crunch donuts then I have this from the Halloween sampler which is spooky strawberry sugar which is just a really nice like strawberry sweet sweet strawberry scent and then in terms of actual like samplers that she usually gives with orders I have Beach Bonfire, which sounded really good. Um, campfire Marshmallows, Vanilla Lace, and Marshmallow Fireside. Then I have Barbie Beach Bash, which is, this is like, 
a summer scent. I don't know why I threw this in here, but I figured if we get another warm day, I might, I might be feeling it. So it's Rio Radiance, which is the Sol de Janeiro type. Um, tuberose, warm sands, creamy vanilla, amber musk, and coconut shavings. How summery does this smell? Yeah, it's definitely summery. I don't know if I'll melt this. I just, I wanted to, like, I, I like to make sure I use up my samples because, um, like, normally, like, see, this one here has five, five of the, like, blocks in there, and, like, that's perfect to warm once in my open area. So, anyways, this one's blueberry cobbler and tea and cakes, and that smells really good. So that's everything I'm going to give myself to choose from uh, for probably the next two or three weeks. Um, I'm looking forward because there's a lot of things I haven't melted before. So I'm excited to see how those um, perform for me. And yeah, sorry if my vibe totally just went down. Um, maybe should have taken a break after that phone call, but um, yeah, anyways. Hope you all have a wonderful day whenever this gets posted and you're watching this. Thanks for watching. Bye.